Hey guys, we're back doing some beer reviews. Uh, we were going to review, actually we started the review for Nickel Brooks Maple Porter sent to us by Albine Rhino, but I think we got a bad bottle. Uh, I think it was a bad bottling or something like that because um, it smelled okay, but as soon as we got into the taste, it tasted like that uh, Picaroons that Mad Max Star sent us once. Like uh, vinegar. <laughs> timber hog or whatever it was that just was all vinegary, so obviously it had gone bad. So we're going to move right into, sorry about that, uh, Rhino, uh, we're not blaming you for it or anything. It's obviously it was a bad bottle or something like totally that. Totally his fault. No, <laughs> who knows, who knows what the hell happened, but uh, at any rate, we still appreciate you sending it to us, dude. Um, told, you to, told you not to leave it sitting on the heater. <laughs> I thought it'd be okay. <laughs> um, so we're going to move right into St. Ambrose India Pale Ale. This is a new seasonal uh, made by St. Ambrose, sent to us by Mad Max Star. 6.2% alcohol by volume, so strong beer. First thing I really like is the label. It's really awesome. The beer it stands out. <laughs> uh, it says, St. Ambrose India Pale Ale is dry hopped using traditional methods. It's brewed with a selection of pale and specialty malts for a balanced malty character. Ingredients, water, pale malt, crystal malt, Munich malt, golding hops, Willamette hops. Jesus. <laughs> and it says it's... Crazy stuff going on. Yeah. Okay. What percent is that? 6.2. It's not that really good. So it's not high. No. It's pretty much on par for like a regular IPA. No, screw you. It looks good. It smelled already too. Yeah, that looks nice. Nice, uh, pretty much copper, like light copper color. And darker golden, isn't it? Dark gold. Mm -hmm. Getting close to copper, I guess. Uh, nice head on there. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to last too long, but it looks nice anyway. Smell it. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Hmm. Is there any hops and stuff? I'm predominantly getting like a floral and piney kind of hops from this. Yeah, it's kind of nice and it's kind of like sweet kind of. Yeah, it's sweet. Maybe a little bit of. It's almost kind of like a little like a pilsner kind of sweetness. To yeah, it sort of floral. a caramel malt sweetness kind of going in there. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, that smells really really nice. Makes me want to swirl it in this friggin' right sweet. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll taste it. Uh, vinegar. <laughs> no. No, this tastes good. Hmm. Hops come right up front. Yeah, not really super complex. It almost take kind of, first it's sort of like almost watery kind of like. It is pretty right light. light and, then, and then the hops just kind of come right in there. Yeah, nice dry, bitter hops. But up front it's sort of a little bit of sweetness and then it's like yeah jumps right to the hops um, and then there's like sort of a malty sweetness all around it but pre the biggest thing right here is the hops Americans yeah. would probably categorize this as just a pale ale yeah, it seems like quite very, very watery sort of weak certain no mm. but, but that's not right starting to get a bit of a pine aftertaste here Some of the actual hop flavor is starting to come out, kind of not grape, just the bitterness. Grapefruity kind of taste to it. Yeah, there's a little bit of grapefruit to it too. Like the bitterness reminds me of the grapefruit bitterness. Mm. It's like a watered down grapefruit juice or something. <laughs> That's pretty decent. That's pretty good. It's good though. It's very drinkable. Like it's not going to friggin'. It's not uh, just considering some of the. IPAs we've had in the past year or so. It's not quite up there in that league with like um, Sea Level or that uh, yeah. that fucking Screaming Beaver there that we had. So that might be more close to what they actually made. Yeah, Red Racer. But yeah, this is much more of a traditional IPA. Uh, British style, I guess you could go. Because most of them are just pale ales with a crap yeah. load more hops and they just absolutely just ship it over there to India. They didn't care what the British soldiers had to drink. 
No, they just sent them. other crap they were drinking. They just sent them stuff to get them, <laughs> just stuff to get them drunk that wouldn't kill them and <laughs> yeah. keep them happy or whatever. You don't get paid very much and your life sucks. Here's some booze. Okay. No, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good though. It's very drinkable. Uh, the hops aren't big, like making you have to sip it or anything. No, well, they, they sort of linger, but they don't. They don't build up. No, every, time they don't, you, every time you take a sip, it washes them away. Yeah, it cleans. It cleans uh, out fairly good. There's there's some lingering dryness, but it, it doesn't leave a big hop note in in the back of your mouth or anything like that. It just so. washes away every time you drink it, and then it just starts over again. Yep, it's pretty good. I like that. Um, so like I said, uh, it's not as good as some of the ones we've been having this year, like the. Sea level, uh, screaming beaver, red racer. This kind of because this kind of bland. This is sort of like just bitter, and that's it. It's a bitter drink instead of mm. fucking. It's good though. Uh, it's yeah, good, but there's no like there's hardly any malt character to it. It's just there. <laughs> but that's all right. Three point five out of five. I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I have to give it a seven. It's 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 a really well made beer. It's, it doesn't do anything wrong. It just it's not special or anything it's just it's really really good real solid that's almost just like a bitter drink it has like no real i wouldn't I say that it does have some it's like a fucking turnip drink or something uh, i don't want to go that far <laughs> um it does have some characters just we cast the yeah. lemon trio because it was haunted yeah, it does have some characters just it's, it's mostly kind of a one note kind of ipa though but there's nothing wrong with that i mean People look down on basic IPAs now in this age of super. Well, I'm not looking down. I'm just saying it's sort of. You're tearing it apart. I don't know. No, it's not the best IPA I've ever had, but, <sighs> but if I, I could I could buy a case of that and drink it. That's yeah. why, that's that's one thing about it. you could drink a lot of that because it's very light. And it doesn't even feel, like you know. Ed Max Star is a really nice guy, and you're here. You're, you're running this beer down. That's right. It's terrible. Okay. I'm I'm gonna say three point five out of five. And is that what you're, that what you're saying? Yeah, I agree. Okay, so. St. Ambrose India Pale Ale. It's actually really good. You should send a case next time. <laughs> I don't even know if you can get this in cases. It's a it's especially uh, seasonal, I guess. Uh, maybe it comes in a two suction pack or something. Or? Mm, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, if you can find it, pick it up. It's worth it. It's a good little uh, India Pale Ale. Uh, if you're an American or you're used to American IPAs, you might just call that an American Pale Ale. But uh, you know, it fits either category. Mm. So uh, we'll see you guys later.